And they're Lloyd Macedo Sweeney from LloydMacedo.com. And it was Lloyd Macedo. Today the date is uh, 22nd of November 2014. The time right now is 1.24 in the afternoon. Well, I, I just happened to have this incident just now. Just now. And that is why I'm uh, recording this video. Um, it so happened that I happened to get uh, I happened to get contacted by a young boy who was who is currently studying in one of the schools. I don't want to mention the school because it would be a scandal then. Um, I, I know the school pretty well. I know most of the students. So what happened was uh, this particular... Hey, down. So what happened was uh, this student kind of got in touch with me and uh, he said that he, he wanted to speak to me about something important. Uh, to which I said, okay, fine. If you want to speak to me about something important, go ahead. And uh, to which he, uh, hey, this is it, this is finishing the recording. So, uh, to which he actually opened up and told me, listen, uh, me and my friends have been saving money. I said, okay, fine, that's nice. So what are you saving money on? We're saving money on, uh, we want to get laid. I was like, what? I was like, man, you know, I, I look at your profile, I'm a big fan of yours, and I see you with all these girls, you know, you always take photographs, and... I'm sure you must be having so much of sex every day and uh, we also want to have sex and uh, we have uh, saved all this money so that we can pay these girls or we can get some girls for sex. I was absolutely baffled. Uh, shocked was uh, an understatement but he actually told me that uh, he was saving money so that he could save this money in order to get, a, get some girl to have sex with. So I told him, man, what made you so sure that I was the right guy whom you can get in touch with? He said, no, man, I know that you're very cool. I know that you're, you're this, uh, the bad guy, you know, and um, who else can I ask advice about how we can get them? So I told him, how old are you? How exactly old? He told me, hey, I'm 14, going to be 15. Now imagine a boy who's 14, boy who's 14, going to be 15, is speaking to someone like me who is nearly 38. And he's asking me as to where can he get a girl for cash, for sex. Now, um, this long story short about this boy, I made it very clear to him that I had taken down this conversation. I recorded the entire conversation and uh, I would put him in a lot of trouble um, if he did not uh, back off. And I would make sure that his parents came to know about it. In fact, I told him that I'd let the authorities know about it. The boy was really shit scared and, you know, and then he, uh, I'm sorry, 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 please, please, my dad will kill me and all that. So I said, if you know your dad is going to kill you, why the hell are you doing all this? Um, so now, you know, the thing is, I'm, I'm not trying to blame the boy. I'm not trying to blame the boy. I'll tell you, the fault is not of the boy. The fault is of the parents. I mean, just think of it that this young man is having so much of testosterone growing in his body. He's given access to the internet, to Facebook, to all these social media sites where he's seeing so much of uh, stuff that he should not be seeing sex and he's looking at women, he's looking at naked bodies. And obviously he's getting turned on. He's getting these feelings that, oh, I need to vent out my sexual frustration. So he doesn't know what to do. And <clears throat> with this, with so much of uh, pressure building up, he actually felt so frustrated that he had to talk to someone. Now, I don't have time to start counseling a child and telling him, oh, listen, you know, you got to be good. I don't have time for this shit because I did a lot of this and I didn't, I didn't get paid for anything. I ended up being crucified. So I don't have time for this shit. I'm not Mother Teresa or Mahatma Gandhi that I'm going to start nurturing a boy. No, I don't have time. But I cut it short. I cut it short. But I seriously think that a father and mother just giving a birth to a child is not enough. Just sending them to school is not enough. Just, just, you know, buying them food and giving them stuff to eat and drink. And that's not enough. Today, you need to sit and have a dialogue with your son, with your daughter. You need to educate them about sex. It's not that sex is only for 18 and above. No, today they are being exposed. And if you are giving them the freedom to, you know, have access to friends, the internet, the phone, they will be exposed to this. And if you don't have a dialogue with your children, they will end up going the wrong direction. Now, imagine if I was some stupid uh, nut job who tell him, okay, fine, this is where you can get girls or this is where you can meet new girls. I mean, you don't know what the boy would have done. Which direction would he have gone? I think it's a matter of shame that there are parents like this whose only job is, uh, you know, to work and to send these children to school. 
you'll say that oh we are doing our best and why the hell do you have children if you don't have the capacity to take care of them be with them it's a responsibility don't bloody get into it if you're getting into it either do it properly or don't do it at all and now you have these young boys and young girls who are talking about sex and they're so confused and they don't know where to go and now they are moving around like headless chicken i mean just look at it a 14 year old boy asking me what do i do where can i get girls for sex what would drive a young man to even say this you know this is really shocking it's really really shocking and it drives my head in to know you know i feel sorry for the boy i feel sorry for the boy but i'm sorry i i don't have the time the effort the money to kind of sit with him and help him but i'm making this video just to educate the parents listen if you're there and you're watching this video i think you need to educate your children you need to sit and have a dialogue and don't think that no 14 is too early no when they 11 start having the conversation the minute they open up facebook internet whatever have the conversation because you don't know which direction they're going to head and believe it or not if you think that this is not your problem very soon when they get the freedom to go to their college one day they're going to make the mistake and by the time it's going to be too late because sexually transmitted diseases or teenage pregnancies and making all these kinds of mistakes is a reality and <clears throat> the worst thing among from all that is having a f- sexually frustrated teen who doesn't know what to do and will end up doing the wrong thing so this is what i feel the and uh, i'm i am kind of really upset that this boy had to speak to me and i had to cut it short but it's not my responsibility and i'm not going to sit and start uh, you know babying children or youngsters i have a life of my own but parents for you the question is what are you doing and to all the youngsters out there listen you need to wank it off wank it off man you need to pleasure yourself go ahead and pleasure yourself but don't don't think of going into you know um finding out women for money and uh, doing something that you'll really regret please this is not a game sex is not a joke and your life is not meant to be played around with uh if you have questions email me your questions i'll be glad to answer but i think this is a really serious problem that we need to address live from livemesido.com and newslivemesido.com sharing his views about this incident that took place today goodbye for now